In this video, we'll discuss injuries in the cervical and thoracic spinal cord. The higher the cord injury, more serious is a sequelae. What's the immediate response of the body after a spinal cord injury and infarction? A spinal shock and autonomic dysreflexia. So what happens in a spinal shock? A spinal shock is characterized by flexed paralysis, atonia, and a reflexia features resembling features of lower motor neuron type of lesion below the level of lesion and also there is bradycardia and hypotension was a motor failure leading to vasodilatation and venodilatation and severe hypotension autonomic dysreflexia autonomic dysreflexia occurs after spinal shock and usually occurs in injuries above thoracic sac there is severe acute hypertension bradycardia and throbbing headache, sweating and blurred vision. Severe acute hypertension in autonomic dysreflexia may cause a stroke. What's neurological level? Lowest level of normal sensory and motor function on both sides of the body. Complete transaction of the spinal cord at any level causes loss of sensory and motor functions below the level of the lesion. What type of motor lesions are produced from a spinal cord transaction? Bilateral low lower motor neuron lesion in the segment of the lesion at the level of the lesion and bilateral upper motor neuron lesion below the level of the lesion with a positive Babinski sign bilateral there is bilateral loss of superficial abdominal and cremaster reflex what upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron lesions are produced at different levels of a spinal cord lesion from cervical 1 to cervical 5 lesions there is upper motor neuron lesion in both upper limb and and lower limb. From cervical 6 to thoracic 2, lower motor neuron lesion is produced in the upper limb and upper motor neuron lesion is produced in the lower limb. Complete transaction of the spinal cord at cervical level produces quadriplegia paralysis of all four limbs and a complete transaction of the spinal cord in thoracic region causes paraplegia that is paralysis of both lower limbs. Cervical cord lesion in the upper cervical cord lesion from cervical 1 to cervical 5 it produces quadriplegia and also weakness of the diaphragm and this condition is fatal that requires ventilator for survival. Why? Because diaphragm is supplied by the phrenic nerve. The root value for phrenic nerve is cervical 3, 4 and 5. So a lesion in cervical 1, 2, 5 produces upper motor neuron lesion in both upper limb and lower limb. Cervical 5 and 6 lesion produces weakness of the bicep, shoulder and elbow muscle weakness. That a lesion of the cervical 7 produces weakness in the tricep and extenses of the finger and wrist. A lesion in the cervical 8 produces weakness in flexors of the fingers and wrist. Cervical 6 6 to thoracic 7 lesion produces lower motor neuron lesion in the upper limb and upper motor neuron lesion in the lower limb. Now lesions in the thoracic region. Lesion produces paraplegia. Thoracic cord lesions are identified by sensory level in the trunk. So what are the important sensory landmarks on the trunk? Nipple is at the level of thoracic 4 and umbilicus is at the level of thoracic Lesion at thoracic 4 causes paralysis below the nip. A lesion at the thoracic 6 causes paralysis below the chest or rib cage. And a lesion at thoracic 10 produces paralysis below the umbilical. So what's the effect of lesion between thoracic 2 to thoracic 4 on the respiration. Vital capacity in this lesion is reduced to 30 to 50 percent of the normal. Thoracic 2 to thoracic 4 produces paralysis of the legs and trunk and loss of sensation below the nipple. Thoracic 5 to thoracic 8 produces paralysis of legs and lower limb and the loss of sensation below the rib cage. And a lesion at thoracic 9 and 10 paralyzes lower abdominal muscle, not the upper. So when the muscle contracts umbilicus moves up. This is known as Bevor sign. A lesion of thoracic 9 and thoracic 11 produces paraplegia and loss of sensation below the navel. And a lesion at thoracic 11 and lumbar 1 produces paraplegia and the loss of sensation in the hip and leg.